Good morning, all my little friends. Welcome to another daily devotion. We are still in James chapter 2, but now we're moving to the uh, back half. We'll spend probably another day or two in, in chapter 2. So we're starting in verse 14, because now we're talking about not just faith, but works as well. And so here's what it says in verse 14. Suppose a person claims to have faith, but doesn't act on their faith. My brothers and sisters, can this kind of faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister has no clothes or food. Suppose one of you says to them, go, I hope everything turns out fine for you. Keep warm, eat well. And suppose you do nothing with what they really need. Then what good have you done? It is the same with faith. It doesn't cause us to do something, it's dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I do good deeds. Show me your faith that doesn't cause you to do good deeds, and I will show you my faith by the good deeds I do. So this is one of those arguments that sometimes people get into, of like, how are you saved? Are you saved by, by the works that you do or your faith? Well, your faith is what saves you because Jesus clearly says, says just believe and you're saved, but... Once we are saved and our belief in Jesus should cause us to actually do some works. And so if we flip over to Ephesians, now you don't have to flip with me, I'll just read it to you. But Ephesians 2 verse 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through your faith. And so this is where it's saying that Jesus has saved us by that grace just through our belief, through our trust in him. And not that uh, of ourselves, it is the gift of God. And it says in verse 9, clearly, not of works, lest anyone should boast. So it shouldn't be about works. Like works aren't going to be what gets you to be saved because then we can't boast. And it even says, for we are his, being Jesus' workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for, for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So it should be something that we want to do, something that we do because of our faith, we do good works. And that's what, it's, it, what James is saying. Like if you see someone who needs help and all you say is like, oh, I feel bad for you. All right. And then that's it. Well, that's not helping them out. That's not showing that love that we were talking about yesterday. That that should cause us to want to do something for them. And, and loving our neighbor means not just loving them through words, but loving them through actions. And so this kind of goes together where we're saved by our faith initially. And, and that's all we need to get to heaven. But because of our, our kind of that, that saving grace that, that Jesus has given us, that should cause us to do works. And so there's a balance in there. And so we should want to be doing good things for other people. We should have a desire to do those nice things for others. And so as it says in here, like, and I will show you my faith by the good deeds I do. And that's the goal. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for again, just clearly laying out what you call us to do. Just like you said earlier, let us not only be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Doing is an action. Doing is a work. And so even though we are saved just through our faith, that saving grace that you gave us should cause us to want to be more than just listeners of your word. So Lord, help us be doers. Help us take action. Help us show your love indeed in action throughout our community and we love you so much in jesus name and all of god's children said amen all right i'll see you guys tomorrow morning